Hello, and welcome to my second video for Dragon Dictation version 3 for the Mac. A lot of these commands work both on the Mac and the PC, so if you use a Windows-based Dragon Dictation that's newer, a lot of the things that I'll be doing you can do as well. So let's begin. I'm going to start by waking up Dragon, and I'm going to tell it to open a few different applications. Now, word processors do understand Dragon Dictation, from text edit Microsoft Word to Apple's Pages. I find them all three very easy to use. It's all down to preference. What's really nice is I can actually even ask them to open up the program. So I'm going to wake up, wake up, open Microsoft Word. File, new. Go to sleep. Go to... Now that I've opened Microsoft Word without using my mouse, I can start dictating right from here. It's very easy. Getting into the other programs is pretty much the exact same process. So, I'm going to actually dictate a letter or paper for you and doing some of the different options in there. The few of the most common options are, you know, next line and new paragraph and kind of what the difference is. Next line is just jumping down one section, so it's just like pushing return. New paragraph is pushing return twice. Wake up. Wake up. Dear Haley, comma, new paragraph. I just got your message involving the apartment complex's new policy on dishes on the patio, period. I will comply with the new rules and regulations, period. Go to sleep. So now if I want to jump down to the lower section, I can just say new line. Wake up. New line. Was there a vote involving the new policy with satellite dishes? Question mark. Go to sleep. Scratch that. Go to sleep. So, I want to start a brand new subject line. So I'm going to use new paragraph instead. Wake up. New paragraph. Are we still on for next week's meeting? Question mark. There's a few things I'd like to go over before the end of the month period. I would also like to change the locations to the coffee shop down the street for Monday 3 p.m. period. Select Monday. Bold. Go to end. New paragraph. Hope all is well, comma. New paragraph. Kevin. Go to sleep. So now I can actually even edit inside of the program using just Dragon Dictation. If you're using Dragon Dictation, I highly recommend avoid using the mouse as much as possible. The program doesn't work as well when I'm using the mouse to select something and then change it and then go to front. Uh, Dragon Dictation doesn't work very well with that. So if I wanted to change apartment 
for the actual name of the apartment complex. I would just say select apartment and then I would actually replace what I wanted with it. I'll demonstrate. Wake up. Select apartment. Condos. Select condos. Red, white, and green apartments. Go to end. Go to sleep. As you can see, I can easily grab everything inside of the file. I can even tell it, drag in, read document to me, and it'll actually read the document to me. I've tried recording it, and my current setup won't let me show you, and you probably don't want to hear my voice again anyway just to read a document file, but you can have it read it back to you. It's very simple, very easy. Again, it's very important. I can't stress it. Try to avoid using the mouse to do edits or typing it in yourself. There's two main reasons. One, it's hard for Dragon to definitely edit the, soft, the, the document that you've just written because of you interfering with the, the document itself without using Dragon. As well as, this program gets better and better the more you use it. It actually learns the way you talk. So by using your voice more than what the program will actually pick up on it all the time and it learns all the time so you will actually get better using the program sooner than others if you try not to use the mouse to edit the different parts I understand when you start using it sometimes it's a little frustrating but please please try using it you'll get the most out of the program if you just use the commands that are available